Hey folks, I'm here today to kind of explain the fuel pump system on a 2008 Chevy Equinox, especially in relation to the one I just changed because that gives me parts to play with. Um, I had to replace mine because I believe the pump had actually failed and I wanted to kind of tear apart the old stuff and find out if it was something I could prevent. Um, so here's the new kit I bought that essentially is in the car now and it's exactly the same as the one I took out. But uh, ultimately why I think the system failed uh, was due to contamination from my broken canister. Um, my canister's here, it's got that big rock hit and tearing this thing apart uh, and these kind of modules kind of pop out packed full of mud and water. Um, just really messy and this is where the vacuum systems uh, from the motor and uh, you know where it, it sucks on the gas tank and I can imagine if you know once the vacuum's off you know gases come back in and my tank just had water and dirt that was in it. I also drive a lot on gravel roads, so I imagine there's through the gas cap and other means, you know, that the system would get contaminated, but that's that's how I think it failed. Somehow it just, you know, got into the pump and, and that was that. Uh, how the system works, and this is the most interesting part I found of it, um, is kind of like going through the modules here. Uh, long story short, we got vacuum up here and a discharge that comes out. Uh, but the neatest part, are these little, there's three big parts, or four I should say, parts to this pump. There's this blue thing up here, that's actually just a float. And if the fuel level gets too high, it actually closes off the vacuum. So uh, it doesn't suck liquid fuel into the vacuum system, that makes sense. And then we get down to the pump module here, and this is where the three cool things are. So here I've got the pump module, and I can slip this in here for now. So what we have is this pump, and it goes out, and it actually comes into this thing, and then comes up and, and goes off to the car and off to the engine. And I was thinking, well, this must be the primary pump, and this is the secondary pump, because I've read about the prime, you know, two pumps and stuff, but that, all of that's not true. This only has one pump in it, and it's right here. And it takes fuel and pumps it through this hose into this, and this is the intake fuel filter. Uh, I don't believe it's serviceable, because to get this thing out uh, was a pain in the butt. And uh, I actually, this, this gray unit itself was sealed and I can't imagine ripping these lines off. It's not really built to be serviceable. I didn't even know what it was until I, I cut the bottom off. And you can see this fuel filter is dirty. Uh, I'm presuming that it was white at one time when it was new. I don't actually know the original color, so it's hard to say. But uh, it looks brown, um, which would be the color of dirt, which is the gravel on the roads that I drive on. So I can imagine over time this thing is just getting nailed with dirt. Whether or not it was the cause of my fuel pump problem, I don't know, but I do know that my pump having to pump through this, probably not the easiest thing. But so there is a fuel filter in the system, just like any other fuel system uh, that's out there. But like I say, it lives right here, that big gray thing uh, in the pump system. Now that's one component of the three that are awesome. The second is the pump itself. So we have the pump, and really, the, I guess there's the two things that live together, and this white cup. Uh, this is just the rheostat for the, you know, the, the fuel level. But this pump is neat because number it's not only discharging to the motor, but it also has a, a port on the bottom here. So uh, by looking at this cup, this is the intake from the tank. It's not even from the tank; it's from the white cup, and this is a high pressure discharge. And what that discharge does is in the cup here, and you can see there's dirt and stuff, this cup was designed to hold fuel. So what this pump does is it takes gas, and if you look on the bottom here, and I might not be explaining it right, but it takes, this is where the yellow port connects, it comes up, and it splits here, and it goes over here. And what it does, and you can see on this side, it actually is exposed to you know, this side of the tank, and it actually shoots uh, a squirt of fuel up what I would essentially call a venturi. See that right there? You can see the hole in the bottom of it. It actually shoots fuel up that and it actually, I took it off, but there's a little cap that sits here and shoots it up so that it draws fuel from the bottom of the outside of the cup and shoots it into it so it fills this little cup up with gasoline. So the fuel pump is always sitting in a pool of gasoline. But there's two of them, right? So there's this side, and the other side goes to the secondary side. So uh, this is just a fuel pickup, and it comes over here, and it comes to that second other venturi. They're, they're pretty much the same size. So what they're doing is they're taking some of the discharge of the fuel pump, 
shooting it up a little nozzle and it's actually pulling more fuel into the cup from both sides of the tank. So when this thing's running, I can imagine it's just constantly putting fuel into this cup so that the pump always has fuel to pull off of. So um, that's kind of neat because usually I'm used to a fuel sock. You know, you've got a fuel sock, a pump, and out she goes. That's it. And maybe a vacuum connection and a couple of electrical connections on top. So this whole fuel cup assembly is quite neat that it would actually take some discharge. And you can see down here, to the left is going to be where the fuel is drawn. And to the right is where it has that high pressure discharge that actually comes down over here and actually shoots up, like I say, these two venturis that draws more fuel in. One from this side, and that's why the bottom here is open, and then the other one from the other side of the pump. So that was kind of neat. And then there's, I guess, if something were to break, there's a little flapper valve here that would just let fuel in anyway. Um, so even if this system wasn't working and the fuel tank had enough gas in it, uh, it would come up through that and fill up this cup as well. And of course, if the tank is full, then it's just gonna fill in anyway, and these, they just sit there, I guess. They just run and, and, and run fuel like that. But um, my primary concern is where do I see, is there a fuel sock or is there something? So that's where I've got to cut into this cup more, but I figured I'd damage it. So I wanted to shoot this video segment now, and then I'm gonna find out where does this pump pick up the gasoline? It's obviously pumped into this cup. And based on, like, I've contaminated a little bit, but this cup, was full of dirt. In fact, it still is. Let me bang it out here. I mean, this is all stuff that was in on the bottom of the cup. So I'm wondering if this, it's real powdery, if it also kind of acts as a fuel bowl. So I don't know how much churn or, or, or turnover is in here, or is it pretty, pretty calm so that small dirt particulates fall and settle out to the bottom. But when you pull up your cup, pull this out of your car, of course it's going to be full of gas. It's supposed to be. It's that's where all the gas goes. So we've got the filter module, we've got the electronic fuel pump, which is very specific to the car, uh, and the power connections and the discharge. But now I wanna find out where does the, the fuel pump actually get its gas from? It's gotta be a hole or something that shows me uh, where this gets in. So we're gonna cut off the rest of this white stuff and look at the bottom. All right, so with some removal of material, I see exactly how it works now. Because see, here's the intake for the pump, that ring right there. And so where is it picking up fuel? It's on a little elevated floor. Well, if you turn around and I finally like pulled out where the fuel filter sits, this is all screen, very fine screen. So, and then it comes down to that compartment essentially, and that's where it gets its fuel. So it has this screened area. I actually cut into it right there so you can kind of see where it's at. So along the edge here, inside this cup uh, is where the pump gets its fuel to do its little thing here. So. I just thought that was really cool, uh, quite the mechanism, that's essentially the fuel stock, uh, to get just fuel into my Chevy Equinox, right? Because it's just running regular pressure, you know, nothing's crazy, 45 pounds or whatever. Uh, but it needs those little Venturi pipes to get fuel into the cup, and that's why the pump, in theory, should never run out of gas until you actually really run out of gas. So, uh, also, I guess, keeps it cool because there's always gas in this cup, and it's always got the pump submerged. And you can see the teeth on the pump and where it clips into the... You know, it's a pretty good clip in there. I don't want to re-clip it in there because I don't want to take it out. I guess the ultimate test would be to put 12 volts on this thing and see if it spins over or is it <clears throat> is it locked up. So I'll give that a try too. But the fuel pickup system is really cool. I got to cut into that and see exactly what those two things do. So this thing here is the same as this thing here, just upside down. And what, it's a little, it's a little valve with a spring. So you can see what it does is there's a certain amount of pressure that comes in and it can lift it and release that pressure. So um, imagine this would be, I don't know what the pressure would be coming out of here, you know, into these two venturi pipes, but obviously it was regulated by this spring and each one has one. So the high pressure comes in and it can bleed off that pressure uh, if it's too high, I'm guessing, or not if it's too low. So they could allow just a certain amount of fuel to come up here. So I guess you're not squirting to the top of the tank, although like I said, it had these caps uh, that would sit on top they just clamp on and they keep the, I guess, fuel from spraying and they keep it inside the cup. Uh, but these are just little pressure dampeners or reducers or bleed off valves. The hole on top that lets that gas, any extra gas just come out the top um, so you don't over pressurize these. Now the bump test. 
So I'm going to go ahead and use a vice grip on my battery terminal, just like Derek on Vice Grip Garage and every other person who watches his channel now uses a vice grip on their battery pole. Battery tested out okay. Of course, we got full blow power here. There's no fuse. I don't think the pump is short circuited because we didn't blow any fuses in the car. And I'm just going to just give it a wee tap and see if the pump actually turns over or is it actually, you know, locked rotor type of scenario. So I'm just going to go ahead and click it and we'll get a, we'll find out here real quick. So it, I'm not even looking at it. It does run. Whether or not it's supposed to just spin quietly or not, but there we go. So it running dry is not its best scenario either, right? Um, but it does turn over, so I don't know. Might have been the pump in the lock rotor scenario. Or... That's clearly not how it wants to be. Maybe its location is key. So, unless you wanted to test a new one, and it smells really bad, but once again, these things are not supposed to run dry, so, um, I guess the fuel pump did work, so, but I was getting an initial start of pressure and the none, and so maybe, uh, this pressure, I don't know what sort of, this goes to the ground, it has a ground wire, and then a, I guess it had a positive somewhere, not sure what this sensor does, um, it has obviously a means to, to read pressure coming off the fuel filter. Maybe it, if it detects the fuel filter and there's a little mesh screen there that there's something wrong that shuts things down. I don't know, but uh, that's the synopsis. That's the quick breakdown. Quick breakdown. It's like a 15 minute video, but that's the breakdown of my fuel pump system. So there's just one pump. There's no secondary pump. It's all just suction devices. We've got the cup, the filter, uh, and these cool little Venturi's that probably still work and everything in, in this passages is fine. Uh, the, the cool cup thing, the flapper valve and all the lines that go everywhere. The fuel pickup on the other side, which, so what happens is I guess is it just keeps pulling fuel over until this side gets completely full and it then just runs over on the other side of the tank again is how I figure that works. So uh, that's cool. But if you have any questions on the fuel pump, hurry up because this thing's going to the dump now. Uh, so go ahead and ask him. I'll get him, get this video posted up right away. Uh, Inevitably in 10 years someone will be asking me a question and I won't remember the answer, but uh, Go ahead and ask them if you got comments leave them subscribe to turbo 231 for more exciting Equinox videos I think my next video is going to be on the Buick. We got to do transmission service on that one um, Not the turbo Buick, but just the 94 Regal uh, And you guys have a good day